that's a different problem. All right, so for your first meeting of the night, uh, pretty cool dude, really good friend of mine. You guys, uh, a lot of noise for Derek Rush. <laughs> Come on, give me a floor. And whoever got the weed pipes, I'll meet you in the parking lot. Got some shit for that. I got into comedy because yeah, I grew up a kid and I used to always, you know, dream about being a celebrity. But the craziness that some of the celebrities get into, the foolishness, they can keep like the names they give some of their children. Like they name their children after fruit and numbers. I mean, colors and shit. Like Jay Z and Beyonce named their child Ivy Blue. The wrong number four in the color blue. You know, that's each his own. But then he came back the next day and said, Since I have a daughter, I will no longer be using the word bitch. After he done called all the wrong bitches before. <laughs> now he's gonna suddenly stop because he got a daughter and shit. I said, just wait, you know, just get to know the little girl first. <laughs> she ain't been here but a couple of days. You ain't went and bought her no maxi pads and had to deal with that shit or nothing. And you gonna say you ain't gonna use the word bitch because your daughter, nigga, please. I mean, we all say nice shit about kids when they come in this world. You know, they're so cute there. We love them. I'm pretty sure my ex-wife parents said the same shit about that bitch. <laughs> I mean, you, they don't always turn out like we expect them to turn out. You know, especially her. She was one of the most unsupportive people you ever meet on the face of the earth. No matter what the fuck I said, no matter what the fuck I did, it was never good enough. Like one day I was sitting reading newspaper, looking for a job. Okay, I really wasn't looking for a job, I was breaking up weed on the newspaper, but that's the beside the point and shit. I was like, damn, sanitation department hot. I need to go down there. Here come this bitch out of the kitchen. How you gonna take out the trash for somebody else? You don't even take out the trash around here. It's like, you right. Cause you still in here. Y'all don't know the bitch, no, you don't know the bitch. But 13 years, I was married. I tell people I was incarcerated because just like people that was incarcerated, I won't get no pussy. 13 years, shit has really changed. Got a black president now. I don't know for how long, but he up there. And Herman Cain, he kind of fucked me up and let me down because I had a dream of seeing two black people run for president at the same time, Democrat and Republican. The debates was going to be a little bit different. Spades, tournaments, dominoes, crap games, horseshoes. You know the rules are going to play basketball with the president. Herman Cain, Barack Obama. But I'm going to find a little bit, you know, I love that I want. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I immediately got me one of them marijuana cards. I let both foot buses roll on my goddamn foot. I was limping for days and floating at the same time. I'm a firm believer that weed brings us together as you know, black and white people. It brings us together. You can learn about each other races. When you smoke weed together, like white people, when y'all smoke weed, y'all like to do too much shit. Black people, we don't go skiing. We don't go hiking. We don't do none of that shit that I don't do it out. We like to have a real in-depth form of discussions. Who got the best chicken, KLC or Popeyes? <laughs> Look, KLC got the original shit, but Popeyes got the spicy shit. Church got the best goddamn business. This shit can go for goddamn hours. It took me to realize we must spend all our money on weed. We ain't got enough money for just a dollar, man. You gonna make dollars? I had an African guy cuss me out about the dollar menu the other day. Cause you know he was like, he was like, 
the dollar I mean is for the bullshit. It is bullshit. What the fuck do you mean the dollar mean is bullshit? You can get everything you need by the channel. That's your ass right. He was like, in my country, a big woman is a sign of a woman with wealth. Here, you don't have to be busy to be a fan of your life. But I love the Spencer's though. I grew up in a time when you bought weed from a drug dealer. You ain't had no fucking choice. You just give me a dime and that was it. You remember that shit? <laughs> now it's like, go to Baskin Robbins when you go to the Oh, Keep me a. Give me a. And this is all really hot when you're going there. You just forgot what the fuck you went there for. Like, give me a. What time the Kofax bus run? <laughs> oh, I'm in the dispensary and shit. And they got names for everything, you know, like rat boys. Why would you want to smoke some shit called rat boys? You know what I mean? Then they had a bus for us named the weed after our government officials. And it worked just like our government officials. Like Bob Doe weed. It was pretty good, but I couldn't move the one arm and I had to the shit. Yeah. That's stupid, man. Six of us fucked up. What is up? What is up? I asked what this shit do. It's like, you gotta try this, man. This is the presidential shit. It's called Barack Obama weed. I'm like, bird, let me go smoke me some of that shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> but the more I smoke this shit, the more I just hope I was high. Smoking this shit had me channel serving 14 goddamn hours. And shit on this motherfucker. The TV is off. <laughs> they call this shit Sarah Payton. <laughs> but I know the world is really challenging. Last night I was, you know, I'm sitting up doing my thing, you know, heavily medicated. And I saw a commercial. By the commitment of Barack Obama I was like, damn, they put niggas on money now, shit. <laughs> I was like, that's real cool and shit. But you know, I always had that cool little dream too. I was a big dreamer as a child. Long as child, you know. Putting niggas on money, that's, that's far out, you know what I'm saying? But how come it can't be on paper? Why it got to be a coin? Because you know what they really wanted to put black people on paper money, they was going to bring back paper food stamps, you know that shit. <laughs> Herman Cain on a $3 food stamp. That means some shit. I'd be spending the shit out of that motherfucker, too. Donuts, cookies. You know, I got the bunches. All of that got the bunches. Right? I'm going to get out of here. I got one more joke. I'm going to tell y'all. Kids. Motherfuckers, please. <laughs> if you ain't beating your kids, I don't know what the fuck you are doing in your spare time. <laughs> you just, if you ain't got no weed, just imitate you got a weed and just swing and knock the shit out of your motherfucker. You got to beat the shit out of your kids because the kids lost their goddamn mind. 16 year old girl in four was a straight A student. Wow, straight A's. Perfect student. Wanted her mom to buy her a car. Her mom said no. She beat the shit out of her mom, drove her mom to the car and made that bitch buy her a car. Hey, that's some shit. Now, me, my son can't whoop my motherfucking ass. But if it just so happened, he got in a rubber punch and drove my black ass to the car, I can give him a gun. My credit score ain't two fucking digits. So beat them motherfuckers, please. I always keep the bitch and kill some of the baby because she smacked her child. So a girl standing in line with her mom, man in front of her with one goddamn leg. He won't bother nobody. She gonna say, Mama, what happened to that man's leg? She said, girl, be quiet because you're talking to the motherfucker. 
She said, Mama, what happened to that girl lady? She said, girl, I don't know. The girl looked up at her mama and said, Mama, daddy, right? You don't know shit. Oh, my God, what's happening in the world? Hey now, before I give these away, everybody knows these are tobacco use only, right? All right, tobacco use only. There might be cops here, all right? All right. The Gandalf Five. Is that what it's called? Right, Gandalf Five. 